Welcome to this session of my video series. I will discuss important information regarding IBPS. It will be helpful to all those who are finding it difficult to get basic information. IBPS is a government body that conduct online exams. Various government banks in India are its members. They have authorized it to conduct recruitment exams on their behalf. It conducts exams for government banks like the State Bank of India, Reserve Bank of India. It also conducts exams for various insurance companies. It serves the regional, rural banks, banks also. Apart from these, various government departments and government companies are served by it. The importance of IBPS can be estimated from the number of candidates it handles. It handles more than 1.5 crores candidates annually. It also shows that Indians are showing interest in the jobs for banking and insurance. This is the official website. All important notifications and recruitment advertisements appear on this website. You should regularly visit this site to know about the important announcements. The exams are entirely online. So, every aspirant has to be registered at the website of IBPS. The registration links are available only during the registration schedule. The opening and closing dates are always mentioned in the vacancy advertisement. At the time of registration, you have to ha give both your email and phone. As soon as you register, an email is sent to you. A confirmatory SMS is also sent to you to your mobile number. So, you should provide this information with utmost care. Otherwise, you might not receive communication from them. You should always take printouts of your registration form. You should also take a printout of the receipt from online payment that you will make. When you are registering yourself, you must be alert and careful. Double check your name, phone, category before submitting the form. No rectification is allowed once you have entered your information. So, once again, I stress that you have to be very alert and accurate at that time. At present, the IBPS is conducting various exams for the journal public. Common written exam for specialist officers. Common written exam for probationary officers and management trainees. Common written exam for regional rural banks common written exams 
for clerical posts. Please do check their official website for more exam that could be adding. Now I shall give details of each of these exams. First, I will take the common written exam for specialist officers. The vacancies are for special areas like information technology, like marketing and legal affairs. Recruitment of information technology officer is made through this exam. Also for agriculture field officers. For posts of Hindi language Raj Bhasha Adhikari also. For law officer, personal officers and marketing officers also. These recruitments are made for member banks. Such banks are called participating banks. These are common of the banks that to which recruitments are made. There are at least 25 such government banks for which these vacancies are filled. The recruitment process is completed within a period of five months. The period is counted from the date of opening of online registration till the making of provisional allocations. We advise you to start preparing for this exam at least six months in advance. For this, you can take the help, of, help by visiting our website. We have a lot of study material and online videos to help you out. The age of a candidate has to be between 20 and 30 years. The government gives age relaxations to various reserved categories. The exam is an online exam with objective type questions. These have to be answered within two hours. The maximum marks are 200. The reasoning part is for 50 marks. These questions are for the mental ability testing. For English, 25 marks are allotted. 50 marks for quantitative mathematical ability. For some posts, there is no mathematical ability test. In its place, there is a 50 marks paper on journal awareness. 75 marks test is for computer domain or language domain or law domain. It depends on the type of post you are applying for. Please note that there is a negative marking in this exam. A quarter, one-fourth mark is deducted if a candidate gives a wrong answer. There is no deduction if the candidate has not marked any answer to a question. So, you sh should answer a question only if you think that the risk can be taken. A candidate has to score a minimum pass marks. The minimum pass marks are called cut-off score. It is calculated 
statistically on the basis of the score of all candidates. The purpose is to take the top 40% candidates. There are certain relaxation for reserve categories regarding this cutoff score. The interviews are conducted by the respective banks. They are coordinated by IBPS. The interview carry 100 marks. If a candidate doesn't score the pass mark, he or she is rejected at this stage. This can happen even if he or she has done very well in the written exam. The minimum qualifying score is 40 for journal candidates. It is 30 for the reserved category candidates. Interview has 20% weightage and written has 80% weightage. Let me explain it with an example. Suppose a candidate score 120 marks in written and 60 in the interview. The effective score would be 6000 after applying a weightage of 80 is to 20. Next, I will discuss about the common recruitment process. It is done for the recruitment of probationary officers and management trainees. The officers are recruited for the various banks in India. There are at least 25 banks for which the recruitment is done. Please refer the IBPS advertisements for details. A candidate has to register online on the website of IBPS. At the time of registration, you have to specify your order of preference for the banks. Once this choice is specified, it cannot be changed later. You will be allocated only to one bank depending on your merit position and choice. CRP is a two-stage exam. The first stage is the preliminary exam and the second is called the main exam. The preliminary is a qualifying exam only. The candidates who pass the preliminary exam can only sit for the main exam. The score in the main exam counts for the final ranking. The candidates who qualify the main exam are called for the interview. Depending on the final rank, a candidate is allocated to one bank only. The whole process takes about 9 to 10 months. The preliminary exam and its result take about one month. The main exam is conducted within the next week. The result of the main exam takes another one month. And the interviews are completed within one month. The age of a candidate has to be between 20 and 30 years. The upper age limit is relaxed for the various reserved categories. 
प्री एग्जामिनेशन ट्रेनिंग इज अरेंज फॉर द रिजर्व कैटेगरीज एंड माइनॉरिटीज द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ दिस ट्रेनिंग इज अबाउट अ वीक इट इज यूजली अरेंज बाय द बैंक्स दम सेल्स एंड एट द नियरेस्ट एग्जामिनेशन सेंटर्स द प्रिलिमिनरी एग्जाम कंसिस्ट ऑफ थर्टी क्वेश्चन इन इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज थर्टी फाइव आर ऑन क्वान्टिटेटिव एप्टीट्यूड थर्टी फाइव ऑन रीजनिंग The main exam is a lengthy paper. This is the breakup of topics and marks. So, you can see that reasoning and quantitative parts are important here also. There is a negative marking in both preliminary and main exams one fourth mark is deducted for every wrong answer common written exam for clerical posts is exactly similar to the crp for po and mt this exam has the same stages of preliminary main and interview the syllabus is the same the topics are exactly same the time and marks for the exams are also same as the for for the po and mt process The exam is for recruitment of group A and group B officer for regional rural banks. The recruitment is done only to the RRBs. The postings and locations of these banks are in the districts of various states. The location is always given in the ibps advertisements the candidate should have a knowledge of the local language the test for the local language is included in the interview the age limits are 18 to 40 years the age limits are different for different posts age relaxation to reserve categories are available minimum experience is required this experience depends on the post you are applying for there is only one written exam followed by the interview The written exam consists of 40 questions on each of these topics. The written exam has a negative marking. The quarter mark is deducted for every wrong answer. The candidates who qualify in the written exam are called for the interview local language proficiency is also tested at the time of interview the interview consists of 100 marks a candidate has to score a minimum of 40 marks in the interview provisional allocation to an rrb is done depending on the merit list and the candidate's preference for an rrb thank you